today we discuss on alley effect the question is what is the alley effect discuss about the alley effect with the model dndt equals to alpha n into bracket 1 minus n by k into bracket n by a minus 1 where a is the alley threshold parameter 0 less than a less than k and also give the stability analysis of the steady states. WC alley 1885 to 1955 observed that there is a strong correlation the density of population n and the individual fitness measured by per capita growth rate that is 1 by n dndt so there is a strong correlation with the population density is nt the function of time t and the per capita growth rate what is which is the 1 by n dndt the classical uh, dynamics uh, concept of the population dynamics is that population grows exponentially when population density is low it is the classical concept when population grows exponentially when the density nt is low but when population density increases per capita growth rate decreases due to competition of resources when population density increases uh, the per capita growth rate decreases due to competition of resources and this is the classical concept of the dynamics population dynamics but first Ali says population growth may also decrease if the density nt is below some threshold this threshold is the Ali threshold we later called Ali threshold this is the capital A Ali threshold First, Ali says population growth may also decrease if the density NT is below some threshold. Due to unavailability of mates or lack of cooperative behaviors, Ali effect is prominent when the population density is low, that is, below the Ali threshold. If the population density is high above the Ali threshold, then the growth will be similar to the logistic growth. So, here the uh, main difference of the alley concept and the uh, classical uh, population dynamic, dynamical concept. Uh, population dynamical concept at the Malthusian model, the population grows exponentially when population density n is low and population density increases per capita growth rate decreases due to competition for resources. But according to new concept that is Ali introduced the Ali, uh, this the population density, population density, population growth may also decrease if the density NT is below some threshold. Population growth may decrease is called due to uh, called the LEF, LE threshold due to unavailability mates, lack of cooperative behaviors and this is the reason behind the uh, decrease of the population growth. In low, the population growth rate also low, decrease, also decrease. Now, uh, here, um, to the example, alley effect is observed in different animals, especially who hunt in a group for their prey or preys who make group defense to protect themselves from predation. Alley effect is observed in different animals like uh, deers or tigers, especially who hunt in a group for their prey. In a group for their prey or preys who make group defense to protect themselves like deer from tigers. Consider 
the logistic growth model uh, dn dt equals to alpha in 1 minus uh, n by k here n is the population density and r is the parameter positive parameter and k is the um, carrying capacity environmental carrying capacity positive value and in this model logistic growth model equilibrium points uh, we have already seen this n1 star first equilibrium point n1 star equals to 0 and second equilibrium point n2 star equal to k where the first equilibrium n1 star is unstable and the second equilibrium point n2 star is k n2 star equal to k is stable already uh, we discussed uh, this uh, for this model logistic growth model and now here we considered the new model dn dt equals to alpha n into 1 minus uh, n by k into n by a minus 1 where a is a parameter known as Alice threshold parameter and 0 less than a less than k and for, for this uh, we here draw two figure for, from the first figure uh, for the logistic model 1 uh, there is no alley effect and this is the uh, k um, uh, carrying capacity environment carrying capacity k and this is the origin 0 and, and this is the uh, 1 by n dn dt is the per capita growth rate and in the axis along the horizontal axis n is the population density when uh, population uh, density is 0 and this is the um, one per capita growth rate is equal to alpha and uh, when uh, density population density increase and the uh, 1 by n dn dt decrease and i am going to up to k but uh, for the second model this is the second model we get this is the 1 by n along the well, along the horizontal axis n and along the vertical axis 1 by uh, n dn dt per capita growth rate in this in this model uh, shows that here here if a point a is the alley threshold parameter a and this is the carrying capacity k this is the origin o and for this model to strong alley effect when population density is low and the 1 by n dn dt that is the per capita growth rate is also decreasing but after the value a after the value a population uh, per growth per capita growth rate is uh, increases but uh, left hand side of a it, it, it is decreases so this model for the uh, old that is classical population dynamics and this is the uh, concept to alley uh, this uh, alley effect now uh, we have to find the equilibrium points uh, for the model 2 so we have dn dt equal to 0 and then uh, from equation alpha n 1 minus n by k into n by a minus 1 equal to 0 and solving this we get three roots of this equation n equals to 0 n equals to k and n equals to a so we get three steady states that is equilibrium points n1 star equals to 0 n2 star equal to a and n3 star equal to k now we can find the stability uh, of these three equilibrium points uh, through the linearization principle for this we find um, f dash n we call uh, this the uh, right hand side function in the equation 2 called this this function right hand, right hand function is called the function of n that is f n f n so find the f dash n f dash n we get this expression f dash n so find f dash 0 put uh, n equals to 0 in this expression we get f dash 0 equal to minus alpha which is obviously uh, negative because alpha is positive parameter so this shows that um, n1 star is equal to 0 is the stable equilibrium point so uh, 0 is the stable equilibrium point and f dash a put n equal to a in this expression and 
uh, we can get this f dash e equal to alpha into 1 minus a by k that is equal to alpha into k minus a by k obviously uh, k is uh, greater than a and alpha positive k is positive so uh, f dash a obviously gives the positive value and so implying uh, a equilibrium point a is an unstable equilibrium point lastly f dash k equilibrium point for k put n equal to k in this expression and you can get f dash k equal to minus alpha into k by a minus 1 that is alpha into k minus a by a k is greater than a so this quantity positive this positive and alpha positive so this obviously negative so f dash k is negative so uh, n3 star equal to k is a stable equilibrium point so uh, we uh, draw the graph uh, along the horizontal axis n and along the vertical axis d and dt uh, growth rate so this is the uh, phase portrait uh, for this and we get this is the phase portrait for the classical um, logistic growth model for the classical population dynamics logistic growth model and for this k k is the stable and so this and uh, origin is unstable and so away from this because uh, dnd is positive here so we draw uh, arrow on the right hand side and here uh, for the point k uh, and the left hand side of k dnd is positive so put here arrow right side and the left side and uh, for the mod second model from the second equation uh, dnd and in this is the page portrait uh, for this and this is the origin this is the a alley threshold uh, and this is the k k is the um, carrying capacity k so this k is stable so uh, draw uh, k is stable uh, because from the left hand side we uh, get dnd is positive so draw uh, the right arrow and dnd negative on the uh, right hand side of k so draw uh, left arrow and from the point a uh, dnd is positive so put here uh, right arrow right towards arrow and uh, left left side left side of a is negative so put here uh, left arrow and this so obviously uh, origin is stable age unstable and a k point k is stable for the alice uh, model uh, that is the model 2 so uh, in this class a uh, logistic model that is model 1 and uh, there is no alley effect there is no alley effect but the model 2 uh, with strong alley effect we get this for the page portrait and time series solution of the system 2 that is alley model shows that the all solution initial value n0 at time t is equal to 0 uh, population density is this less than the alley threshold go to extinction now, however uh, however all solutions with initial value in zero greater than the alley threshold a converts to the carrying capacity k so uh, this is the figure for the model one this is the time series uh, the, along the horizontal axis time series t uh, along the vertical axis the population density n from the classical model one and the model 2 for the model 2 second uh, second figure for the model 2 and time series t and n uh, when uh, n0 is here n0 is here uh, then uh, with increasing with time t uh, the population uh, density uh, going to the um, carrying capacity k and here uh, uh, for the model 2 here a is the alley threshold and this point k is the carrying capacity so when n0 is above the alley threshold then with uh, increasing with time uh, the uh, population density uh, ultimately uh, going to uh, the carrying capacity k uh, as the classical uh, population dynamics but when uh, population density n0 uh, at time t equal to 0 the in 0 uh, lies below, below the 
alithresold A, then uh, with increasing time, the population uh, density ultimately dying out, going to zero, that is dying out. And due to this alley effect uh, for this uh, nature of this graph. So, we conclude this lecture alley effect. Thank you.